So, Battlefield 2042 has been out in early access for a couple of days now, but unfortunately there are some issues plaguing the game and many of you won't even be able to matchmake into a round at all, which honestly kind of sucks when people have literally paid more for the game just to get that early access. So to help communicate all of these issues to us, DICE have set up this new Twitter account called Battlefield Direct Communication, so I recommend going and following that if you're interested to see what is on their radar and what they're working on fixing. But in this video, I wanted to quickly go over some of the biggest troubles you could be having right now, explain what's causing them and maybe even help you to fix a couple. So first up, Dozer is broken at the moment. His shield was sporadically causing him to be invulnerable, I believe. So for the time being, they've disabled the shield while they look into this issue. So I don't really recommend playing Dozer uh, until that's fixed. Now, one of the biggest issues that is currently still ongoing is the inability to join a game through matchmaking. If you're having an experience similar to mine, you'll basically only get into a game one time out of 10. So they have responded to this issue 14 hours ago, saying we're aware that many of you are receiving an error message while attempting to load into a server and then being returned to the main menu. We're on it. For now, you can hit retry and cry into your wallet. I mean, attempt to join a server. And then an hour later, they gave us a follow up stating that they were seeing a healthy recovery on their end and things were back to normal. However, I've seen plenty of people still giving reports of not being able to matchmake, but hopefully this will be fixed ASAP. So with all the matchmaking services not working, I decided to join a portal round through the server browser. However, there is also a known bug there which causes you to get stuck in an infinite queue whenever trying to join a highly popular portal experience. There is no option to leave a queue other than hard quitting the game, basically just Alt F4ing. So if that's something you've encountered, they are working on that and hopefully it won't take too long to sort out. Well, well, well. That was fun. Now, if leveling up quickly to unlock as much as possible is your goal in 2042, I would actually avoid custom portal experiences entirely for the time being. As soon as the game released, surprise, surprise, people started creating portal servers with 100 beginner AI bots versus like 10 players, and then they would just sit there and farm them for experience with an LMG, for example. And the server browser for Portal was just flooded with these fast XP game modes. So it looks like DICE have stuck a band-aid on it for now by temporarily disabling experience awards for custom Portal servers. And I can tell you from first-hand experience that the amount of XP you now get is pitiful, so I wouldn't even bother, really. XP awards for solo and co-op experiences in All Out Warfare have also been lowered to stop the farming there. However, regular All Out Warfare mode and the classic portal experiences that you can match make into from the menu are still unaffected. So that's your best bet if you want to get some XP. Whether the matchmaker will actually work or not for you is another question entirely. Now this next one hasn't actually been acknowledged by DICE as far as I can tell, but ever since I got stuck into playing Battlefield 2042, I felt like there's been something off about my mouse aiming, despite my settings lining up perfectly with what I was used to from previous Battlefield titles. So a streamer by the name of Baranox seems to have figured it out and full credits go to him for this fix. But it seems for some strange reason that the controller settings are interfering with the keyboard and mouse settings. And you'll notice, for example, that if you turn Uniform Soldier Aiming on for mouse and keyboard, it automatically turns it on for controller as well. So you want to go to controller, go to the on foot section, and then down to advanced under there, and turn the aiming left right acceleration down to zero, then turn off Uniform Soldier Aiming and set the vertical aim and zoom ratios to 100. Now, if you like Uniform Soldier Aiming, you can then turn that back on. But whatever settings you want to use under mouse and keyboard, I recommend going into the controller section and making sure that they're set exactly the same because for whatever reason, they seem to be somehow linked together. I'll link his full video on the fix down below if you want to go and check it out. So these next two items here aren't really bugs, but more balance and gameplay issues that DICE could be looking into. The first is the crazy amount of spread we're getting on weapons, which is making assault rifles in particular feel rather underwhelming. 
I think most people agreed that in the beta, the gunplay felt pretty great, but it feels like since then, they've given all the weapons this random spread at medium to long range, which basically completely negates the advantages that, say, an assault rifle has over an SMG. So Drunks, the lead gameplay designer over at DICE, chimed in on Twitter saying, we're looking at weapons already and are planning on a few changes regarding spread. No date or specifics to share yet though. So this is obviously something that is on their radar. Now the other thing is the lack of a scoreboard. I don't think EA's attempt to shelter us from toxicity in 2042 has escaped anybody. There is no proper scoreboard with kills and deaths. There is a mandatory profanity filter that cannot be turned off. There is no all chat, so you cannot converse with the enemy team. You can't even select which squad you want to join. For me, it feels like we may as well be playing against bots at the moment. There just doesn't seem to be any palpable emotion or energy when you score that amazing kill or when somebody hits you with an RPG from halfway across the map. And in my opinion, it's a crying shame. However, there may be a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Alexander Grundel, executive producer at DICE, replied to this tweet hinting that perhaps a scoreboard could be on the way. I don't know how you guys feel about the UI in 2042, but to me it feels like a last minute rushed effort, especially if you look at the full map or the full list of in-game players, those parts are really rough around the edges and I wonder if that's why the scoreboard is missing, perhaps they simply ran out of time. So here's hoping they do add one in because I think I speak for us all when I say we need one. If you're wondering why that is, I made a full video on this very subject a couple of weeks ago, so if you haven't already, go back and watch that so you can give me more ad revenue, I mean make a more informed comment on the subject. I am not overconfident. I'm just better than everyone else. Right, that's it guys. I'm going to hop online and try to matchmake into a game now because I'm only level 10 and it's a long way to 99. So do whatever you like with the buttons down below the video. Smash them, tickle them, whatever floats your boat really. Um, I should probably say something cringy like, I'll see you on the battlefield. But let's face it, there's enough cringy voice lines in 2042 as it is and... We all know that's not going to happen because you can't even join my squad, so I'll just see you, I guess. Laters.